I tell you what, man, I'm over 50, and I got to say, I thought dating was hard in your 20s. You know, you're 18. Uh, I thought it was hard, but it's nothing compared to when you're, well, hell, over 40. Let's just say over 40. But I'm over 50. It gets harder with time. Just like the women. You think uh, you can compare them to wine. Oh, they get better with time. <laughs> that, that don't apply to women. They get, well, I guess it could. You need to flip the script. You now, women get crazier with age. So, you know, hey, when you're 20 and you're a man, you'll do anything for that poontang, right? And the women know that. They got you under their thumb, right? But the old passage of time comes. And there comes a point in every man's life. I know a lot of you kids out there right now aren't to that point. But you will come to that point. Let me tell you. You've been there. You've done that. You've hit with the best. You've done it. Right? So there comes a point where you start watching more sports. Uh, you get older. Start getting hair in different places. Uh, you get the sag. You're starting to get the belly. It's hard to lose weight. Uh, so this is a term that when you cross this threshold, it's a new frontier for you as a man. The term is eh. Right? So I can pinpoint the exact day when I went from, I got to do what she says. If I want some poontang, got to do this, this, and this to, eh, you know, you're not going to give me none. Eh. So that's when the woman freaks out. You know, that's when the woman freaks out and realizes that she no longer has that little power. Right. So a woman thinks all the time. She thinks all the time. She knows she can control you when she's young, but as she gets older, especially when they get up in their forties, man, and even fifties, you know, everything sags men too, you know, but we cross that point. God kind of did a little joke on us, right? Men want it when we're young. Women don't want it as much, but when they get older, man, they are horny as all get out, man. Because they want that adulation. They want that worship. They want that control. And they lost it, right? Because a man just says, eh, all right? I just go in the bathroom, burn one out. No biggie, right? I do get it. Cool. But, you know, hey, let me get it. But uh, once they cross that point, man, the women, they come up with other strategies, right? I dated this one woman, right? So she wanted us to be one big happy family, and she was totally under the thumb of her mother and father. I mean, man, she was over 50, and you would have thought she was like 18 years old. They control nearly every aspect of her life. Totally insecure. This woman has been beaten down. And it's really sad, though, you know? I'm not making a lot of that. What I'm making a lot of is why you want to carry on that stuff, right? So she was a good cook. I'm not going to take anything away from her. But it would drive her batshit crazy because I like ketchup. Ah, yeah. All you cooks out there, you know, right? Ketchup. A1 sauce on steak, right? She's like, well, I make this food. It don't need no. I season it and get it ready. I'm like, bitch, I like ketchup. I mean, this is fucking America. I'm going to eat ketchup on my shit, right? Well, apparently that's wrong because I started noticing, right? She starts cooking less. So I just asked her, you know. She's losing control, right? Losing control. So I asked her. She says, well, it don't matter what I cook. You'll eat it anyways. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess so. So you don't appreciate me, so I'm not going to cook for you anymore. And, man, once a woman makes up their mind, they make up their mind, right? So, and it really <laughs> drove her even more batshit crazy because I'm like, yeah, all right, then, you know? So 